good morning my dear students today we are going to discuss unit 11 lesson 1 how we use energy you know energy is important to us whatever we do we need a supply of energy in our daily activities for moving for thinking and for staying warm like that whatever may be we need energy any process any work we need energy you know our bodies use the energy that we get from our food that we studied the lower class from our food we are getting energy so not only in our case in the human being case we need all the things we need energy our body need energy all the purpose even for thinking also we need energy for thinking we need energy so water may be we need energy we are getting the energy from our food we can see the screen not only for a human being more and more energy we need it is useful if you want find other ways of using energy not only for the uh, body purpose for example many people work on farm farmers they are working in soil farmers can also make use of animals do some of the heavy work such as pulling loads fluffing land like that so the farmers they are using some animals you know that uh, maybe you have seen the picture uh, they are using some animals some work like pulling heavy loads or puffing the land like that they used before nowadays maybe you can see but before they used some animals for some work that animals need energy for doing the work so they are getting their energy from their food so the human being need energy the animals need energy here farmers only one example only many others any other field we need energy but nowadays we are using machines so machines can also do work for us the machines are doing the works for us not for them they are doing for us like people and animals machines need a supply of energy you know the machine does not working itself it needs energy uh, whatever may be you know some machines we are giving electricity electrical energy some machines we are giving uh, petrol diesel like that fuels so whatever may be like people and animals machines needs a supply of energy some some work using electricity you know nowadays most of the machines are working by using electricity uh, if you are thinking in our our, our house uh, we can see the light the fan washing machine heater cooker uh, refrigerator uh, like that uh, most of the machine using the electrical energy and in the industries also most of the nowadays working by using electricity before uh, it was working by using the human energy and some animals energy like that but nowadays most of them most of the machines working by using electric energy and some other fuels as uh, some work using electric electric energy others use fuels such as coal or oil you know especially in the case of vehicles uh, nowadays you know we have electric vehicles are also uh, electrical uh, two wheelers and electric cars like that some countries not all countries some area but most of the vehicles are uh, nowadays they are using uh, oils like petrol diesel like that fuels over many centuries people have discovered how to make use of many different sources of energy you know before in the past we don't have this much energy sources we don't know how to make energy or to use energy anything but the scientists they discovered uh, different different items that they, they discovered crude oil they discovered petrol uh, from that crude oil we can make petrol and diesel 
kerosin uh, like that that they discovered and electricity discovered like that so many centuries before our centuries many many centuries people have discovered how to make use of many different sources of energy so these are the uh, needs of energy for the people for the animals for the in the industries vehicles uh, machines all the machines they need energy then next we want to discuss what we use energy for this much energy for what purpose we are using you can see on the screen or your book page number 160 the right side down you can see there is a pie chart you know your pie chart i think you are familiar in mathematics the pie chart shows the three main types of energy we use the three main types of energy we use the showing the pie chart you can see the mark with the green color uh, the energy used in the industries the factories industries like that the orange color the energy used for transportation transportation for vehicles like the vehicles means all the vehicles on the road ship uh, aeroplane helicopter like that whatever may be the vehicles and the blue color energy uses in homes and offices you know in our home we are using many energy more energy especially electric electrical energy all the the mobile phone laptop tab computer tv washing machine fridge what uh, many many device we are using uh, what electricity in our home and office also uh, so that's the that they are represent by blue color so from that pie chart you can understand mainly we are using uh, transport industry homes and offices and you understand this picture the page number 160 this picture it is the world calculation the three main sector where energy is used is data are for the whole world this is not only for a one or two country this internationally uh, all over the world this much. you know from that picture you can understand 60 or 65 percentage of energy we are using in industries remaining 40 percentage only you are using for transporting and uh, homes and office so uh, that's you can understand from that picture so most of uh, the energy we are using in the industry industries and factories because we want to make new things we want to manufacture uh, many many items so the pie chart shows the three main types of energy we use in our homes schools factories and offices we use energy for eating cooling cooking lighting and so on many many items you know you are familiar than me yeah, the uses of electric energy in our home we need energy to travel around so we use energy for transport that also transportation we are using in the vehicles in the car like that and what whatever may be transportation whether it is through sea or through air through road whatever may be everything we need energy Maybe electrical energy or energy from fuel or any other source. And nowadays we have hydrogen also fuel. So many many others, but they need energy. Industry use energy for making things. That is very very important. Everyone uses things that are manufactured. Now you are looking in your front. You have your laptop, your mobile, your tab, your book, your pen, pencil. Everything in your looking your home. all the things manufactured from factories from industries so for that they need a lots of energy now energy and development how the energy depends upon the development that is we want to discuss there is a bar chart they have given as countries become richer people have more money to spend that is an important point the countries become richer uh, they have enough money more money what will happen people have more money to spend they have more money for spending they buy cars and use more fuel so in some some countries some rich countries some houses each person having their own car maybe two or three car so they will buy more car what will happen uh, when when they are buying more car they use more fuel every car want to fill fuel they live in bigger house they will make a big house use more clean water and consume more goods 
more clean water means what for getting the water we want to use the motor the pipe the machine tank everything this are, should be manufactured everything and consume more goods you know the house is good each room one uh, separate television everything need a uh, air condition and each house each person having two or three mobile phone and laptop tab so they need consume more goods all of these things require more supplies of energy that is our case let them do what no problem for us but all of these things require more supplies of energy so there is a bar chart they are given the bar chart shows how much energy each person each person uses per year in different regions of the world so uh, how much energy each person uses per year in different regions of the world that is representing the bar chart we can see the x axis they have taken the countries different countries uh, they have taken seven countries usa europe middle east china latin america africa and india seven countries and the y axis listen the y axis the energy consumption each person not each house each persons uh, how they uh, calculate the energy consumption for tons of oil equivalent uh, tons of oil equivalent per person per year means for example uh, china in china one person using 1.9 tons oil 1.9 tons not 1.9 tons oil uh, 1.9 tons oil can make how much energy that much energy using a person per year in china example so the y axis energy consumption per tons of oil equivalent per person per year so one person using that much tons oil can make how much energy that much energy using per person that is the bar chart representing uh, we discussed the what the richer people the richer countries they will use more energy you listen the graph usa one person using 8.7 ton oil if you are converting to energy that much energy per year in usa because they are using more vehicles they are using more things uh, they are manufacturing more like that you know and europe they are using 4.1 tons of oil equivalent per person per year uh, middle east our area our country is 3.5 tons of oil equivalent per person 3.5 then china they are using 1.9 tons of oil equivalent per year person and latin america they are using 1.4 only and africa they are using 0.8 tons of oil equivalent per person per year and india 0.6 tons of oil equivalent per person per year so this much the use the the bar chart the what say the graph of how much energy they are using per year per person so from this graph we can understand who using more energy who who using less energy everything then you just to see the activity 11.1 you know here they have given two pie charts of china and usa see the pie chart of usa they are approximately using equal amount of energy in their home and the industry approximately equal Uh, we can say thirty-five percent, thirty-five seventy percentage, seventy percentage, uh, approximately uh, for home and uh, industry, thirty percentage for what transport. But the left picture, see China. What is there? They are using seventy-five percentage of energy for industry. you know nowadays we are getting more product from china because they are using more product they are making more products because 75% their energy they are using in industry in factories for making new products so that's why uh, uh, what say they are using more energy for making products and 25% only they are using 
in their homes and offices and transportation. Transportation less energy only they are using. Most of them they are spending in the industry field. That's why what is the benefit? They can make more products and they can sell that products in the products in the all over the world. So that is the pie chart. Then what are the question answers? See the question answers. First question. You learn about food and digestion in grade eight. What two types of nutrients are our main source of energy? I think six or seven nutrients we studied. Carbohydrate, protein, fat, uh, fiber, like that. So vitamins like that. So the uh, two. What what two types of nutrients are our main source of energy? You know the answer: carb carbohydrates and fats. Question number two: What is the original source of the energy we get from our food? That we studied in grade seven onwards. The ultimate source of energy, you know, sun from sunlight. Question three: Look at the pie chart. Which sector uses the most energy? You can understand by looking the pie chart. Most the green color is most. So the sector industry. Then question number four. Study the bar chart. The average energy consumption per person around the world is 2.2 units average. In which region or countries do people use more than this? More than 2.2. So you can see the you can see the bar chart. Uh, which country they are using more than 2.2, or which sector? So China 1.9 only. They are asking more than 2.2. So Middle East, Europe, and the USA. So these countries are using more than 2.2. So whatever whatever may be asked, you can find from the bar chart by looking the they have given the values there. So this is the question answer. Then finally, we want to summarize the lesson. What are the summaries? Many human activities require a supply of energy. All the human activities requires they need a supply of energy. Energy consumption varies greatly around the world. So, energy consumption varies. Some countries using uh, more energy for their homes and offices. Some countries using more energy for transportation. Some countries use more energy for industry. Like that, energy consumption varies greatly around the world. So, greatly around the world. So, this is the. Uh, unit one main points.